hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel all right so in this video we want to continue our studies on vectors algebra of vectors you recall that in our last video we looked at uh, the dot product of vectors and uh, now we want to see what we call the octonal vectors uh, but before that we'll quickly look at some of these properties of uh, dot product because that will lead us to the concept of octonal vectors orthogonal vectors sorry okay so the first property we have here says that if i take the dot product of u and the, uh, itself that it is the same thing as the square of the magnitude of u you recall that this is a representation for the magnitude of u okay so um and then of course it is obvious you remember that uh, the magnitude of a vector is, for instance, vector u. Let me say that u is equal to a, maybe it's from a, an R2. So that means it's a two-dimensional vector. So we have u1, u2. So you recall that the magnitude of u, which can also be written as this, is the square root of uh, the squares of each component, the sum of the squares of each component. So and so I will have this. So in other words, if I take this uh, particular square root to this side, I am going to have just the square of this magnitude to be equal to this uh, sum. Now, but remember that the dot product of a vector, let me say u dot u, is actually also equal to the product, or oh, sorry, the sum of a uh, the product of the component so if i have that u dot u of course will be equal to u1 u2 dot u1 u2 since we are talking about the same vector and so this is also going to be u1 squared plus uh, u2 squared so which is the same thing as this so you could invariably say that that uh, the square of this magnitude is actually equal to you know your u dot u so and that's what this particular first property is talking about okay and now the second one is uh, saying now meanwhile note these two uh, information here it says that that the that that means that uh, the dot product of two vectors sorry of a vector by itself is always positive so it can never be negative. That means the square of the, ma in fact, the magnitude of a, a vector is always positive. So it cannot be uh, negative. And it is only zero if your u is equal to zero. Okay, so take note of that. Now we have the second property, which is actually called the commutative property of the dot product. It says that if I take the dot product of u and v, that it is the same thing as uh, v dot u. So they are just uh, commutative. And then the next one is the distributive uh, property of uh, the dot product over the sum of two uh, vectors. So if I have two vectors summing themselves, so and then a dot product over them, then it cannot also be distributive. That means dot product distributes over addition. Okay, and that holds also for subtraction of vectors. Okay, so now, and the fourth one, that what this means is that if I have, for instance, um, vector, say, 1, 2, and then the dot product of this over maybe another vector here, say, 2, 3, plus, uh, say, 4, 5. So what that is saying is that I can actually distribute this, that's 1, 2 on uh, 2, 3, and then plus, uh, of course, these two will be in a bracket. And then I also have 1, 2 on uh, 4, uh, 5. Okay, so that's what this distributive property is saying. All right. So now the last, uh, the fourth one uh, talks about, uh, you know, when you have a scalar, that's associativity of dot product with scalar. So if I have a scalar multiplying a vector, and then the two of them on a dot product with v then i can actually first of all take the dot product of the two vectors before taking the scalar product that's this or i can actually take the scalar product with the second vector 
before taking the dot product in any of the three cases you will get the same uh, value and then now comes this last uh, property here which is actually the orthogonality that we are talking about remember that another name for orthogonality is uh, perpendicularity so we said that two vectors are orthogonal or perpendicular if uh, their dot product is zero so you can see here that if you have two vectors u and v and the dot product is zero then it means that u is perpendicular to v right this particular property is very important and in fact is a definition so two product uh, the dot product of two vectors is only zero if and only if the two vectors are perpendicular and this actually has a proof which i'm going to show us in our next video but for now let's see some examples that apply to these properties now for the first one here it says that and this is basically on the orthogonality of vectors it says that we should show that a and b here are orthogonal and what do you mean or, or what do you do to show that just to show that their dot product is zero in other words i need to show that a dot b which is equal to two is equal to zero so if it doesn't give me zero then they are not orthogonal okay so let's do that recall that dot product says that components should multiply themselves so 2 times 5 will give me 10 and then you will sum them 2 times minus 4 is minus 8 and then minus 1 multiplying 2 is minus 2 and so this is going to give me 10 minus 8 minus 2 is minus 10 sorry is minus 10 and that is going to give us what zero therefore a and b are orthogonal now let's go to the second one second one is more of an application of orthogonality of vectors it says that uh, you have a vector u here given and then we have vector v also given and we are asked to show that the two vectors are uh, orthogonal so what do you do uh, sorry they are asking us to find alpha if the two vectors are perpendicular that means they are orthogonal so and by definition if u and v are orthogonal it means that their dot product is what zero so that's actually what you need to answer this question and of course if this is true it means that uh, if i take the dot product of three comma i can put this thing in component form that's negative one and then two which is my u dot my v will now be alpha comma two comma negative one right so this should be zero and then what then is this going to give me so three multiplying alpha will be three alpha minus plus minus one multiplying two will be minus two and then plus two multiplying minus one is also minus two and this is equal to zero so i've got an equation now solving the equation will help me get the value of alpha and that is just what is needed so this is going to give me three alpha of course minus two minus two will be minus four that's equal to zero so my three alpha is equal to bringing negative four to this side will be positive so if i divide both sides by three now therefore my alpha that will make those two vectors to be perpendicular is equal to 3 over 4 and you can actually run a check on this you can put this value into this your v and then see if the dot product will give you zero of course definitely that will be the case right let's see if there's other examples here it says show that the vectors these and these are orthogonal i've already done that in example one so i'm going to leave this example three as an exercise for you kindly show that that is uh, that the two of them are orthogonal right let's quickly look at this last example here here we are told to support that uh, assuming that w which is this is orthogonal to u and v that means w is perpendicular to u and v meanwhile we can start representing that information what does that mean it means that w dot u is going to be zero and uh, since it's also orthogonal to v it also means that w dot v is also equal to what zero 
So now the question says that we should show that W is also orthogonal to U plus V. That is the sum of the two vectors. So how do you do that? For you to be able to do that, you should first of all show what you want to achieve. So for me to show that W will be orthogonal to this, what I want to achieve is that W dot U plus V must also be equal to what? Zero. So if I am able to achieve that this is true, then both of them are what? Uh, perpendicular. They are orthogonal. Recall that U plus V is actually a single vector because when you sum the two, you will get one vector. So let's quickly see that this is true. All we need to show is that our left hand side is equal to what? Zero. So we begin. Now, by the distributive property of vectors, this thing means that W dot uh, U. That means I can, uh, you know, split this into W dot U and W dot V by distributive property. What I am trying to say is that this uh, W dot uh, U plus V is the same thing as this by distributive property. And then this means that, uh, recall when I talk about distributive property, this is what I'm referring to. I have already shown you that. Okay, so now we've already said that uh, u is perpendicular to w, meaning that this is zero, and then this is also perpendicular to v, this is also zero. And of course, zero plus zero is zero. And so since we have shown that w dot u plus v is equal to zero, so it means that uh, the both of them are uh, perpendicular. This is where we end it for this video. Kindly find a solution to this other example and confirm in the comment section that the two of them are orthogonal and then do like and uh, make your comments share this video to your friends and colleagues we'll see you in our next video bye